to the Trinosphere with Timmy, Johnny, and Spike Batter for all things EDH. Here with your host, Army in a Cans are very viable, Juan to Timmy, with a deck tech today for you on Pi Lath World Sculptor. But first, I'm just kidding guys, we're going to get straight into the deck tech today. Alright, so Pi Lath World Sculptor is a 6 mana, 4 generic, red green, 5 5 elemental creature that when it enters the battlefield, create 0 ones equal to the amount of basic lands you control. Then on top of that, landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield, put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target plant you control. Alright, and since Pyleth likes for you to have a completely basic land mana base, or at least in my opinion that's how I would do it, we're gonna go budget deck. 50 bucks, no more, no less, right there. Okay, definitely less. And the plan for this deck is going to be ramp up the Pyleth, maybe play some cards that'll synergize with Pyleth before he enters the battlefield, and proceed to play your lands to get landfall triggers and play other cards that will pump up your board or allow them to be evasive and just get in there and, and clear out your opponents as fast as possible. Alright, so step one, ramp. We got Explore, Farseek, Ramp and Growth, Secure Tribe Elder, Wall of Roots, which has Defender, 05, put a Neg, O oh, Neg, one counter on Wall of Roots, add green to your mana pool, activate this ability only once each turn. Uh, synergizes Pylath, you can put the plus and plus encounters if you need more ramp. Just a good wall on two, that helps you ramp to four. Cultivate, Fertilid, Haro, Colony Heart Expedition, Nissus Pilgrimage, Securitist Route, Migrations Path, which has cycling too in case you're already flooded out, but more land drops is never bad in this deck. Ranger's Path and Sky Shroud Claim. And then we have, not really ramp, but... Synergizes with the deck, allows you to double spell, Fires of Invention, you can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. Kind of a drawback, but not with this deck, because it also has, you may cast spells with CMC costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana cost. This may seem like a lot of ramp, as long as you keep casting Pylaf though, it won't feel too bad, just for the fact that Pylaf just brings in all the 01s equal to your land count, and going from 6 01s to 8 01s to 10 01s, and even let's say Pylaf doesn't die, the ramp you'll just keep pumping up your board. Now on to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and bulk. All these cards are going to pump up our board and allow them to be evasive. We have EDH staple, gruel charm, uh, red and green, instant, choose one, creatures without flying can't block this turn, or gain control of all permanents you own, or gruel charm deals 3 damage to each creature with flying. Most of the time it's just going to allow our ground pounders get in, but uh, occasionally taking your stuff back is pretty great and blowing out all the flyers is also helpful. Pollen bright druid, when it enters the battlefield, you may choose one, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, or proliferate. Champion of Lambholt, one green green, creatures with power less than Champion of Lambholt's power, can't block creatures you control. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield in your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Champion of Lambholt. So if Champion of Lambholt's first, you play your commander, and boom, now you have an 8 8 and yourself some block. Evolution Sage, uh, three mana, whenever a land enters the battlefield in your control, proliferate. Frosty of the Wilds, 3 mana, enchantment, attacking non-human creatures you control, get plus 1, plus 0, and have trample. Grumgully the Generous, 3 mana, each other non-human creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. So, this goes first, Commander, pump the board, easy. Nissa Voice of Zendikar, plus 1's to make a plant, Neg 2, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on your entire board. And the Neg 7, which will probably never happen, you gain X life, draw X cards, where X is the number of lands you control, she comes in at 3. Tuscard Captain, 3 mana, creature, Outlast, Green Tap, put a plus one plus encounter on this creature, Outlast only as a sorcery, we're rarely ever going to use this, but it, each creature you control with a plus one plus encounter on it has Trample. Crown Saratok, a 4 mana 4-3, four, Trample, each creature you control with a plus one plus encounter on it has Trample. We have Flame Shot or Conjuring, which this one's a little cheeky. 4 mana enchantment, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay red. If you do, put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that creature, that token gains haste, exile at the beginning of the end step. Paying 1 additional mana when you cast your commander, doubling your army seems pretty good, and or doubling any other ETBs we have on other creatures, and some free combat damage. Frontier Warmonger, 4 mana, 4-4, four, four. whenever one or more creatures attacks one of your opponents or a planeswalker they control, those creatures gain medicine tail on the turn. Token All-Star Hellrider, 4 mana, Haste. Whenever a creature you control attacks, Hellrider deals 1 damage to the defending player. 3-3 three, three body. Hellrider is an all-star in this deck. It makes your own ones now deal 1 damage even if they get blocked. It just gives the deck the reach it needs to close out a game. Vulgar Battle Driver, 4 mana. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature gets plus 2 plus 0 and gains haste until end of turn. 
So this is out, before you cast a commander, that could be a total of around like 26 damage between your landfall, the plus in the board, and just all your tokens. Wild Onslaught, 4 mana instant, kicker 4, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control, the spell is kicked, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on each creature you control instead. And then a cheeky card from some late game reach or some early game reach, depends how aggressive you've been, burn at the stake, 2 mana red red red, sorcery, as an additional cost to cast burn at the stake. Tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Burning the stake deals damage to target creature or player equal to three times the number of creatures tapped this way. So if you cast your command to burn at the stake, that's a minimum of like 21 damage. Flame Rush Rider, another copy effect, 5 mana. Whenever Flame Rush Rider attacks, create a token that's a copy of another target attacking creature and that's tapped and attacking. Exile the token at the end of combat. And then it has dash for 4. The creature gains haste, but you have to return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. And since we're going to be ramping so much and have so many lands, we have Root Awakening, 5 mana Sorcery, choose one, untap all lands you control, or until in the turn, lands you control become 2-2 creatures that are still lands, and twine for 3, you get to do both. Hey guys, side note, Root Awakening beats Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> rich Scale Tusker, 5 mana, Creature, when Rich Scale Tusker enters the battlefield, both plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control, Loyal Guardian, 5 mana, Creature Rhino, Trample, Lieutenant, at the beginning of the combat of your turn, if you control your commander, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Verder's Gear Hulk, 5 mana, Trample. Construct. When Verder's Gear Hulk enters the battlefield, distribute four plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures you control. 4-4. Four, four. Rampaging Bailoffs, Creature Beast, 6 mana, Trample, Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may create a 4-4 four, four Green Beast creature token. And then of course, the OG Avengers End the Car himself, 7 mana. When Avengers End the Car enters the battlefield, create a 0-1 green plant creature token for each land you control. Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a plus one plus one counter on each plant creature you control. End Race Forerunners, the Game Ender, 8 mana, Vigilance, Trample, Haste. When End Race Forerunners enters the battlefield, the other creatures you control get plus two plus two and gain Vigilance and Trample until end of the turn. Primeval Protector. 11 mana. Primal Protector costs 1 less to cast for each creature your opponents control. When Primal Protector enters the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each other creature you control. Refill in the hand. We got Wall of Blossoms, 2 mana Defender. When Wall of Blossoms enters the battlefield, draw a card. It's an 0-4. If Pylaf out, we could just make the biggest wall possible if we actually have to block something. Elvish Visionary, ETB draw a card for 2 mana. Inspiring Call, 3 mana, instant, draw a card for each creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 count on it. Those creatures gain indestructible and in the turn, anti-blowout tech right here. We have Armorcraft Judge, 4 mana, when Armorcraft Judge enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, 3-3. Three, three. Shamanic Revelations, 5 mana, sorcery, draw a card for each creature you control. Ferocious, you gain 4 life for each creature you control with power 4 or greater. And then we're playing Reap the Pass. X, red, green, sorcery. Return X cards at random from your graveyard to your hand. Exile, Reap the Pass. And now on to our Gruel removal. Natural state, one mana, destroy target artifact or enchantment with CMC cost three or less, instant. Ancient Grudge, two mana, destroy target artifact with a flashback of green. Destructive Revelry, red, green, instant. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Destructive Revelry deals two damage to that permanent's controller. Naturalize, destroy target artifact or enchantment, instant. Titanic Brawl, 1 in the green. This spell costs 1 less to cast if it targets a creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control, instant. Pillage, 1 red red. Sorcery, destroy target artifact or land, it can't be regenerated. A little chonky for destroying an artifact, but I would consider right on price for destroying a land, considering lands are very hard to remove sometimes, especially in a budget. Chain Reaction, 2 red red, Sorcery, Chain Reaction deals X damage to each creature where X is the number of creatures on the battlefield. Earthquake, X red, Sorcery, Earthquake deals X damage to each creature without flying and each player. Nylea's Intervention, X green green, Sorcery, choose one, search your library for up to X land cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Nylea's Intervention deals twice X damage to each creature with flying. You're probably more going to use it to search out lands, but uh... The flexibility of being able to get rid of flyers is also helpful. And then Savage Twister, X Red Green, Sorcery, Savage Twister deals X damage to each creature. And then for that touch of consistency, we're playing Fierce Empath, 3 mana elf. When Fierce Empath enters the battlefield, search your library for a creature card with CMC cost 6 or greater, really put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Primal Command, 
three green green sorcery, choose two. Target player gains seven life, put target non-creature permanent on top of its owner's library. Target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. Search your library for a creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. It's also good against anti-mill, I know how that's becoming a thing lately. Brutalizer Exarch, five and a green, creature cleric. When Brutalizer Exarch enters the battlefield, choose one, search your library for a creature card, reveal it, then shuffle your library and put that creature on top of it. Or put target non-creature permanent on the bottom of its owner's library. And then the mana base will be all basics. Alright guys, thank you for joining me on this deck tech with Timmy. If you got any thoughts and or complaints, I'll take complaints. I like those two. Leave them down in the comment section down below. And remember guys, it's all about sending a message.